wheels of a van goes round and round, round and round, round and round, and the wheels of a van goes round and round all through the town. How are you? I hope you're okay. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimo, Learning Simplified. Now, you have been told to do what? To make patterns. When the wheels just go like that, it is a pattern. They are going in one way and they're doing the same thing throughout. So when they go round and round, round and round, round and without changing direction, without changing anything, it makes a pattern. So if I'm told make a pattern, I'll can look at this and say, maybe this is how my pattern will be. I decide to put the, the rectangle. I put <coughs> excuse, the oval facing down. <coughs> excuse. I put again. the rectangle <coughs> the oval facing down that is a very beautiful pattern i have made so if you're told to complete that pattern will, will it give you trouble to complete the pattern it will still continue rectangle oval rectangle oval until the end i can also decide to make a pattern using the triangle the circle the triangle again the circle And now you have the triangle and you have to complete which one is the missing shape. So you have to complete here and tell me which one is the missing shape to complete that pattern. I can still decide to make a square, a rectangle, square again And now I have my shape. If I put a square, you will have to complete the pattern. If I put a square like that, you will now have to complete the pattern because the pattern is not complete. If the squares, if the rectangles are two, the ovals are supposed to be two. If the triangles are three, the circles are also supposed to be three. If the squares are three, the rectangles are also supposed to be three. So if I'm told, complete the shape. Which shape will be here? You can tell me the shape that is missing here. The shape that is missing here is a circle. As simple as that. So I have made my patterns. So I also want, I want you to make patterns. After you've done this question, I want you to do this one again. Make patterns using a triangle, circle, and square. And to see who does the beautiful job. And then B, you only make using triangles only. So I want to see 
who does the beautiful job so far. Otherwise, it's as simple as this, making patterns using the shapes. And they are as colorful as this one. So make sure you draw in your books, color them nicely the way they are, then make your patterns. Complete this one and make your own patterns now using the triangle, circle, and square. Any question? It was nice having you around, and I hope I'll see you more and more. Thank you.